TNT barbecue. I'm out here with a southern explosive taste, and it's hot. I got my uncle right here. Say, what's up, uncle? How y'all doing? Brothers at the Florida Gators, baby. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. So, what we got today, I'll tell them uncle about um, a brisket, this brisket I'm cooking. So, we went to the local store, and we got some prime brisket, right, uncle? Prime. Cost an arm and a leg, but look at this, guys. I want to show you this. I will show them uncle this. Look at that. When you get it foam like that already, oh, and this marbling, this marbling fat going through this brisket, it wasn't that much trimming, was up. Uh, 12 pound brisket. We smoking it on the Master Built Sportsman Elite Pellet Cooker. Oh, can you tell me, uh, my uncle, he worked in one of the most famous barbecue spots in Florida, Pine Street Barbecue, for about three or four years, right? Yes, Uncle? yes. And um, he's a traditional wood and fire cooker. Could you just elaborate, Uncle, what you think about the pellet cookers? I, I never used one since I got here, till I got here. And I'm going to buy one when I get back. Because it's amazing how it cooks. Convert it, baby, convert it. Yeah. So, uh, what we're going to do. We're from uh, old school to new school. Old school to new school. We're going to put a little uh, oil on the brisket for the seasoning can stick. And, uh. This brisket, it just need a little oil. And what I'm using today, Unc, is, see what that? American Royal Champion, uh, Plowboys, Bovine Bowl. So that's what we're gonna be using. Plowboys, Bovine Bowl, rub. And it's a award-winning rub right here. So we're gonna go on and uh, I'm gonna do my thing, Unc. Do your thing. I'm gonna do it pretty liberal. Oh man, look at this season on that thing, Unc. Yeah, it's pretty. And one well, how thing, long you let it cook, T? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna let it cook to the internal temperature of uh, of 200 degrees. Once it get 200 degrees, I think this brisket will be done, and we're gonna let it rest for about um, a couple hours. We're gonna wrap it in a butcher paper, um. Okay. Okay. We're gonna leave that foil alone today. Okay. Cause I wanna have a bark, and you see I'm patting it. Yeah. Never rub it. Never rub it, because all you're doing is smearing your rub all over your uh, brisket. I didn't eject it or nothing like that. Uh, I don't think you got to really eject this good this good meat like that here. This prime, it'll be all right. Yes, yeah, with all that marbling run through it. Yeah, it don't have all that fat on it. No, it don't. Excess. So nope, nope. It'll be all right. This, this is a good quality beef brisket. I think it's like my third or fourth uh, I cook hundreds and hundreds of brisket, but this is my third or fourth prime cooking right here. And I'm pretty excited to uh, taste this. This for us. Yeah, see the outcome. See the outcome, yes. This is our first day off since I've been here. We've been <laughs> working nonstop. Nonstop. So that's where I've been at, guys. Me and my uncle have been working nonstop out here in the barbecue world. We done did O-Wine days, Hayes days, Winthorpe days. We didn't, we've been doing every festival up on the market. We just yep. got another festival called us just a few minutes ago. Yeah. Country in the Park over in Hawkeye, Iowa. I'm telling you guys, we're doing it up. We got a new trailer, right, Uncle? New trailer. Big trailer. Big boy. 31 foot, baby. Huge trailer. God Damn. is good. So, what I'm going to do, Uncle, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and get this all padded down right here on this fat side. Mm -hmm. I've got to add a little oil, but I'm going to add it though anyway. That's all right. It'll stay on. And uh, so what we doing, guys, I got the smoker set uh, kind of hot and fast. We got it sitting at uh, 283 right now. So we run a little hot and fast on the smoker. And what I'm using today is uh, some mesquite, some oak, some cherry. And some and some hickory. So I'm using all the woods today. So that's what we're using. And you see how this this, this rub kind of got yeah. tacky up already? Yeah. I get the size yeah. of it. Watering up. Watering up, yes sir. Sweating it out. Yeah. And it's hot out here, boy. Yes sir. So, um, you want to open that smoker for me? Gotcha. It's a little hot. So what I'm gonna do, 
and I'm throwing it fat side down. First top? Yep, yes sir, yes sir. Fat side down, and I like to shake my brisket up, so the way you shape it up, the way it comes off. And that's what we're gonna do right there. Right. So what we're going to do up, we're going to let it ride. I don't think I'm going to do anything to it for the first five or six hours. We're just going to let it ride. So this is TNT Barbecue. I'm over here with my uncle. And we out of here, guys. So we're going to let this brisket ride. God bless you. We'll be back. Peace. Peace. Man. That rub has done an amazing job. That gonna be some wonderful brisket. So uh, we're looking forward to that. Let's look what it's doing to the baby, the uh, St. Louis. Yeah, remember St. Louis style ribs right there. So So, when I'm coming in, I'm going to go ahead and spray this uh, brisket down, keeping it moist. Trying to keep the bark intact. And, uh, yeah, I'm just throwing on some little uh, ribs. I got that, uh, that Plow Boys uh, bovine on there. So, that's what we're doing. And, I mean, it, it, the brisket is looking good. Everything's looking good, guys. The bark is forming perfect, but I'm just going to uh, continue keeping it uh, moist, and uh, I'm, I'm going to add some more pellets to the hopper. I'm doing pretty good for the pellets, and uh, yep, that's what we're looking like. So, as you can see, the smoke is going, so I'm going to add some more pellets, TNT barbecue. Now I'm going to wrap it up, guys. So, um, that's hot. So, uh, so one thing you want to do, you don't want to put a lot of butcher's paper on this thing because then it'll just be like room of four. You want to still be able to breathe. So you want to make sure that you're folding the ends in when you wrap this thing up. So uh, that's what we're going to do. So I, I got it wrapped up. I'm going to put it back on the smoker. We out of here. What's up? This TNT barbecue with a southern explosive taste. So we got the finished brisket here. And I mean, for a prime brisket, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, I just took a little nibble off the end. The rub is amazing. So um, I'm gonna bring you in close for a. Uh, I'm gonna start cutting this brisket. I'm gonna take a couple cuts out of it, and then I'm gonna do a bend test and a pull test, and we're gonna see what this prime brisket is about. So we ready to go see what the master build. Uh, Sportsman League done. So let's get ready to get cutting, okay? So next, I'll be bringing, start cutting the brisket. I'm just going to go right across the grain. Oh, nice smoke ring on this thing. Okay, so pencil thickness. So that's what we're looking like right there. If you can pick that up, that's what we're looking like. That's the fold test right there. Look at folds right there. That's that, 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 that's a fold test, and that's what we look looking like right here. You're gonna pull it, and it breaks. So, uh, 
Now, we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to take a taste of this brisket and tell you how the rub tastes. Oh, no. Great brisket flavor. Good beef. Yep. So this TNT barbecue with a southern explosive taste. We out of here. God bless you and God bless America.